Hello, beloved. Israel gets a new king in our reading today from 2 Samuel. I'm Pastor Steve Billings, and today is Monday of the 10th week after Pentecost, August 15th, 2022. Let's begin with our opening versicle. O Lord, open my lips, and my mouth shall declare your praise. Make haste, O God, to deliver me. Make haste to help me, O Lord. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Hallelujah. Our psalm for the week is Psalm 119, beginning at verse 81. My soul longs for your salvation. I hope in your word. My eyes long for your promise. I ask, when will you comfort me? For I have become like a wineskin in the smoke, yet I have not forgotten your statutes. How long must your servant endure? When will you judge those who persecute me? The insolent have dug pitfalls for me. They do not live according to your law. All your commandments are sure. They persecute me with falsehood. Help me. They have almost made an end of me on earth, but I have not forsaken your precepts. In your steadfast love give me life, that I may keep the testimonies of your mouth. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Our hymn for the week is hymn number 655 from Lutheran Service Book, Lord, Keep Us Steadfast in Your Word. Lord, keep us steadfast in your word. Curb those who by deceit or sword would wrest the kingdom from your Son and bring to naught all he has done. Lord Jesus Christ, your power make known. For you are Lord of lords alone. Defend your holy church that we may sing your praise eternally. O comforter of priceless worth, send peace and unity on earth. Support us in our final strife, and lead us out of death to life. Today's reading is from the second book of Samuel, the fifth chapter. Then all the tribes of Israel came to David at Hebron, and said, Behold, We are your bone and flesh. In times past, when Saul was king over us, it was you who led out and brought in Israel. And the Lord said to you, You shall be shepherd of my people Israel, and you shall be prince over Israel. So all the elders of Israel came to the king at Hebron, and King David made a covenant with them at Hebron before the Lord. And they anointed David king over Israel. David was thirty years old when he began to reign, and he reigned forty years. At Hebron he reigned over Judah seven years and six months, and at Jerusalem he reigned over all Israel and Judah thirty-three years. And the king and his men went to Jerusalem against the Jebusites, the inhabitants of the land, who said to David, You will not come in here, but the blind and the lame will ward you off, thinking, David cannot come in here. Nevertheless, David took the stronghold of Zion, that is, the city of David. And David said on that day, Whoever would strike the Jebusites, let him get up the water shaft to attack the lame and the blind who are hated by David's soul. Therefore it is said, The blind and the lame shall not come into the house. 
And David lived in the stronghold and called it the city of David. And David built the city all around from the Milo inward. And David became greater and greater, for the Lord the God of hosts was with him. And Hiram king of Tyre sent messengers to David, and cedar trees, also carpenters and masons who built David a house. And David knew that the Lord had established him king over Israel, and that he had exalted his kingdom for the sake of his people Israel. And David took more concubines and wives from Jerusalem after he came from Hebron, and more sons and daughters were born to David. And these are the names of those who were born to him in Jerusalem, Shomua, Shobab, Nathan, Solomon, Ibhar, Elishua, Nepheg, Japhia, Elishama, Eliada, and Eliphalet. When the Philistines heard that David had been anointed king over Israel, all the Philistines went up to search for David. But David heard of it and went down to the stronghold. Now the Philistines had come and spread out in the valley of Rephaim. And David inquired of the Lord, Shall I go up against the Philistines? Will you give them into my hand? And the Lord said to David, Go up, for I will certainly give the Philistines into your hand. And David came to Baal Perazim, and David defeated them there. And he said, The Lord has broken through my enemies before me like a breaking flood. Therefore the name of that place is called Baal Perazim. And the Philistines left their idols there, and David and his men carried them away. And the Philistines came up yet again and spread out in the valley of Rephaim. And when David inquired of the Lord, he said, You shall not go up. Go around to their rear, and come against them opposite the balsam trees. And when you hear the sound of marching in the tops of the balsam trees, then rouse yourself, for then the Lord has gone out before you to strike down the army of the Philistines. And David did as the Lord commanded him, and struck down the Philistines, from Geba to Gezer. This is the word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. We continue now with the Apostles' Creed. I believe in God the Father Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, and in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord, who was conceived by the Holy Spirit, born of the Virgin Mary, suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended into hell. The third day he rose again from the dead, he ascended into heaven, and sits at the right hand of God the Father Almighty. From thence he will come to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Christian Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and the life everlasting. Amen. Blessed be the Lord God of Israel, for he has visited and redeemed his people, and has raised up a horn of salvation for us in the house of his servant David, as he spoke by the mouth of his holy prophets who have been since the world began, that we should be saved from our enemies and from the hand of all who hate us, to perform the mercy promised to our fathers and to remember his holy covenant, the oath which he swore to our father Abraham to grant us that we, being delivered from the hand of our enemies, might serve him without fear, in holiness and righteousness before him all the days of our life. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, and the power, and the glory, for ever and ever. Amen. Merciful Lord, Cleanse and defend your church by the sacrifice of Christ. 
United with him in holy baptism, give us grace to receive with thanksgiving the fruits of his redeeming work and daily follow in his way. Through the same Jesus Christ, your Son, our Lord, who lives and reigns with you in the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. Today the Holy Church rejoices to celebrate the festival of St. Mary, Mother of our Lord, remembering her falling asleep in faith. Listen to this from Celebrating the Saints by William Whedon. I remember it all as I lay down my head in death. I remember when the angel came and told me, and my heart burst with joy and terror. I remember when I came to the door of Zechariah's house, and Elizabeth knew my secret, and my heart melted, and my eyes burned with tears, and my mouth prophesied. I remember when I felt your movement first inside my body, and I realized that I was the living ark of the living God. I remember when first I saw your face and touched your hands and looked into my Joseph's eyes. I remember when they came creeping in to see you, to worship you, the shepherds of the night, and told me of angel songs and glory in the highest and peace on earth. I remember when we brought you to the temple and the old man took you in his arms and blessed God, ready to die and told me of pain yet to come. I remember when they came from the east, and as I held you, they bowed before you and gave their gifts, the gold, the incense, and the myrrh, while the star's light shone upon us. I remember when he woke me and fled into the night ahead of the terror of Herod's sword. I remember when we came home at last, and people looked and talked, but you were all our joy. I remember when you stayed behind, when you left us, and we found you in the temple, and my heart rose up in fear, realizing that you chose to abide in the place of sacrifice and death. I remember when you spoke to me in roughness, and yet made the water into wine. I remember when we came to make you take your rest, and you taught me that all these in need were dear to you as your own family. I remember when they took you, tortured you, and crucified you. Before my eyes rose up the memory of the old man in the temple, his words haunted me still. And as I watched you dying, it was as if a sword ran me through. I remember when you looked on the beloved one and me and gave us to each other for all our days. I remember when the light died in your eyes and my heart sank beyond tears and words. I remember after the empty days when they came and told me that you lived again, and joy flooded my heart. And I knew then what I had always known. Your every promise was true. I remember when we prayed together after you had gone into heaven, and the Spirit came in wind and flame. I remember how they went and told the news to all the world and I welcomed each new believer as my beloved child, a brother of my son, the king of all. I remember it all. My son, now as I die, I am not afraid. I go to you, to you who has conquered death, to you who is the forgiveness of all sins. Receive me, child. Receive me. I remember, I remember, I remember. Let us pray. Almighty God, you chose the Virgin Mary to be the mother of your only Son. Grant that we who are redeemed by his blood 
may share with her in the glory of your eternal kingdom. Through Jesus Christ, your Son, our Lord, who lives and reigns with you in the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. We conclude today, as always, with Luther's morning prayer. Let us pray. I thank you, my Heavenly Father, through Jesus Christ, your dear Son, that you have kept me this night from all harm and danger. And I pray that you would keep me this day also from sin and every evil, that all my doings in life may please you. For into your hands I commend myself, my body and soul and all things. Let your holy angel be with me, that the evil foe may have no power over me. Amen. O Lord, hear my prayer, and let my cry come before you. Let us bless the Lord. Thanks be to God. The Almighty and merciful Lord, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit, order our days and our deeds in his peace. Amen. God bless your day, beloved.